Kenya, um, compared to several countries in Europe, mm -hmm. you find our youth population is really, you know, big. Like yes. we have, uh, I think maybe 80%. I don't have the stats, but I know like the young people are more, and not just special to Kenya, but I think Africa at large. Yeah. And so education then becomes a really big deal. Yeah. And also, uh, as we study, you know, we leave universities and there are no jobs. Mm -hmm. And your nation is working um, closely with our government mm -hmm. in addressing that issue. Mm -hmm. Could you speak to that? Yes, uh, first of all, I think you're right. So the, the, the age structure of the African societies is totally different from yeah. what we have in Europe. I think the median age um, in, in, in Kenya is 19 years. In, in Germany, it's about 40 something. So there you see already a big difference. Yeah. You have um, y your population grows by 1.2 million, I think, every year. Germany is more or less stable, or some countries are going down also in mm. Europe. So you see the whole dynamics is totally different. Um, but I think uh, that also gives a lot of opportunities and chances. I, what I feel here in Kenya is that the society is much more open to technological innovation, okay. for example. So whatever is um, on the market, whatever is possible is done. Whereas in Germany, we have a lot of sometimes difficult discussions about innovations, about introductions of new ways of payment, for example. Right. I mean, the famous M-Pesa here, um, nobody questions this sort of um, system anymore. And I think that has very much to do with this general openness, open-mindedness, which comes with age also. Mm. Um, secondly, um, you are right. Um, so uh, Germany is trying to help uh, as much as possible in all the TVET structures in education. Um, so to give the youth a good education, yeah. that, that they find good jobs here in Kenya. Yeah. So we are building seven centers of excellence for TVET in mechatronic, in um, hospitality, um, in um, engineering, in, in, in other parts. Also, we have a number of initiatives of the German hotels along the coast okay. that do their own educational programs. And I visited one of these um, initiatives um, in December, and I was really impressed they are um, they have programs for plumbers, for carpenters, for electricians, and they do a three years program there. And all the young people that are um, term terminating, finalizing this program are getting good jobs in the oh, hotels, wow. all of them. Yeah. They have practically a job guarantee. And I think that's the way we have to go. Um, and um, there is a lot of potential here in this country. Mm. And then um, thirdly, um, I think also with this difference in, in the age structure of mm -hmm. the societies, we have also a possibility to cooperate closely together because um, we need good people and you have good people. So why not make a win-win situation out of right. this? Um, in Germany, we have a very interesting discussion right now about opening up our labor market for ah. skilled immigration. Okay. This will happen because we need people. We need 250,000 to 400,000 people for per what? year for jobs in nursery, in hospitality, in logistics, um, everywhere. Okay. So um, we really have a, have a lack of skilled labor in some sectors. Um, this is really the main point that, that, that companies can't grow any, any longer because they don't, just don't have the people. Wow. And um, so this, the, a new immigration law, which will be a little bit modeled along the Canadian um, and, and Scandinavian uh, laws, um, will be introduced very soon. And um, we are already in talks here um, with the Goethe Institute for the language skills, uh, with the TVET institutions, with some of the universities, how we can also put Kenya on the spot to be one of the partners in this um, in this um, yeah, joint effort. Wow! So you, so it's a, it's an opposite problem. You need people, yeah, and we are brimming with people yeah, who yeah. need those jobs. Yeah. Huh. I would say it's a it's a it's a really a chance to to jointly um, tackle this challenge because yes. there's a certain complementarity um, um, between our societies. And what I see here is that. Um, it's a pool of highly ambitious, um, good skilled, uh, very friendly, very open people, and it's a good chance. I also think that um, our society has to change in, 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 in Germany. I mean, we are, um, um, as you know, um, very open uh, also for, for refugees. Uh, we are one of the countries that is taking a um, 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 number of refugees, um, first of all, um, from 
from the Arab world um, um, Ukraine, in, in 2015, yeah. 2016, yeah. and now um, about um, one million uh, from Ukraine. Um, but um, especially with the Ukrainian um, um, refugees, um, we don't know how long they will stay. It all de depends, of course, uh, on, the, on, the, on the Russian war of aggression against, mm. against this, this country. Um, but I think we um, generally, um, yeah, first we have to change our law and then yes. also we have to change our mind um, and, and welcome good yes. skilled and, um, and um, yeah, motivated people.